Hey everyone, and thanks for joining me for another Jason's Tech Talk. Now I'm going to be real honest with you, a lot of times when I start these videos I get a little bit nervous and uh, I, I try to speak really clear and, and try not to mess up um, and it, I think it takes away from the fun of the videos. For, so from now on I'm just kind of got to try to loosen up and have some fun. Uh, and if I make a mistake, hey I make a mistake, but I'm, I'm not going to tell you anything wrong if I can help it. Um, and if I do make a mistake, I'll do my best to try to fix it. Uh, now, like I said, we're going to do a, a little quick overclock of the GTX 1660. Uh, I'm going to go over the steps of how to overclock it. Uh, I'm not going to overclock it step by step to its max. Uh, you can do that. I'm just going to give you the, the ability to do that. Now, what you're going to start off with, um, first thing, you're going to need to do is go to MSI Afterburner and there's two programs I would download uh, one of them being uh, Combustor um, it is a benchmarking software done by MSI Afterburner or affiliated with them um, it's a good quick benchmarking tool uh, it puts it will stress your graphics card um, for a short amount of time to get you a, a you know a, a pretty stable overclock now I would do some kind of long-term um, overclock afterward or I'm sorry benchmark afterwards uh, to, you know to give it a little more more of an endurance test but for a quick test to, to set your overclock it's a really good tool to use uh, and then of course MSI afterburner now I you, there is a beta version. Um, I've had a little bit of trouble with it here and there in the past. Um, if it's your first time using Afterburner, I would say stay away from it until you've used it a little bit. Once you get used to it, then go ahead and give it a try. All right, now the first thing you're going to want to do um, when you're doing your overclock is I would set a very aggressive fan speed, uh, something that's going to keep your card cool. Um, you can turn it all the way up to a hundred percent I usually put mine at about 90 percent um, but you can run it all the way to a hundred it's not gonna hurt it um, or if you're like me I you know I, I I know my fan speeds so I've already got one set that's gonna keep my card cool I try to keep it below 70 degrees when I'm benchmarking just so I don't lose clocks uh, after you do that the next thing you're gonna want to do is go up and change your power limit from a hundred percent to a hundred and twenty five percent and I would go ahead and apply that and then I would run a, a quick benchmark with combustor uh, just hit the benchmark and then you've got the preset for whatever your um, uh, ratio is on your monitor or what you're running I'm running 1080 but you can do 1440 or 2160 um, accordingly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit 1080 and we're going to run through this benchmark real quick. And if you look here in the top left hand corner, you've got your benchmarking percentage. That's how far along your benchmark is. Uh, in the bottom left hand corner, you have your GPU temperature. You want to keep an eye on that. Here towards the middle you have your speed which is in frames per second and then you have your GPU load. If you're running um, G-Sync or FreeSync make sure to turn those off they will stop your GP load at about 88 to 89 percent. If it's not running at least 98 percent or above you're not getting enough power load on your GPU um, you need to find out why that's not being pressed because you're not going to get a good stability test unless it's pushing it somewhere around 100%. All right, and you can see here we're at 85%. We're almost finished, and we're going to get our first score. All right, as you can see here, our score was 1992 at 33 frames per second. Uh, you can put in your name here under where it says screen name. It says anonymous right now and submit your score and check it against other other people's score that have ran similar benchmarks. Uh, I'll go over this real quick. Um, 
as you can see here, I'm the top one. Uh, I ran the MSI 01 uh, set of benchmarks. Uh, and I was right. I was at uh, 1080p. My score was 1992, and then it has uh, my GPU uh, stats. Um, so it was a 1660 Ti, uh, and you can go down and check it against people that are running something close to you. Uh, here's a score I turned in earlier when I was playing around trying to uh, where I'd forgot my uh, G-Sync was on, uh, and it was 2221. Um, now you got to you got to watch some of these scores. Don't get discouraged if you see one like. Um, I believe there was a 1070 here that had a very high score. Most likely he was running dual uh, 1070s, uh, 2345. Most likely he was running dual 1070s uh, to get that high score. Because if you look here at the rest of the 1070s, they're around the 2100 to 2200 mark, which is about average for a, a 1070. So don't be discouraged if you see a really high score of another card that's um, somewhere in the same category as yours. They could be running dual GPUs and it's not going to tell you that. And also make sure where what um, what benchmarking program they're running. Each one's carry a different kind of score. Alright, now that we've done looked at that, we're going to get into our actual first overclock. Now when you go to overclocking, uh, if you look right under temperature limit and above memory clock, uh, we have our core clock. Uh, now you can go down here at the end where it says zero or plus zero. And what I do is I generally go in and I will add 20 each time. Just put in 20, hit your enter key on your keyboard and apply that. And then you're going to want to go down here and run combustor again and make sure you your benchmark passes through. Now you're going to want to let this run all the way through again and make sure to keep an eye on your temperatures. Um, now each time you run the benchmark, the scores should keep increasing. Uh, if they ever start decreasing, uh, and your card's not shutting off, you know you've reached the limit even though your card's not turning off. So you, that's where you're going to want to stop and go back down until you find where your highest uh, clock was that you had an advantage. Um, and you're going to want to do that also. Uh, keep raising your core clocks till either you see a decrease in your overall score which we're about to get our second score and I'm saying it's going to be a little bit higher see here we're at 2004 uh, and we were at 1992 earlier so we've went up a small amount and so I would go in here and I would add 20 more to 40 now, now like I was saying um, you know, you just keep going up by 20 until you get diminishing returns on your core clock. Um, or you start getting artifacting. Um, or sometimes your card will just, it, the screen will just black out. Um, it's not going to hurt your card. Um, just reset everything um, and take your core clock down um, 10 and run the benchmark again. Uh, and make sure it's stable and once you've got that number um, save it in um, and then we're going to move on to your memory clock now um, we're going to we're going to act like i went ahead and added 20 several more times uh, and i'm going to take this up to 180 uh, which is where the limit is for my card uh, and then we're going to get our memory clock now i usually do this um, at a for at a hundred each time and I'll go in and add a hundred to my memory clock and I'm gonna apply that and then I'm gonna run my benchmark again uh, we can run it one more time if you'd like um, actually 
closed combustor, so let me reopen it. And we're going to run that benchmark one more time. And keep making sure your temperatures are good. Um, and, uh, and also just make sure it's uh, stretching your card. Like I said, at least 98 to 100%. Uh, it's not going to hurt it. Uh, but if you're not doing that, then you're not really stressing the card. And you should see your frames per second slightly go up. Maybe not so much during the memory test, uh, but definitely um, when you're doing your core clock. So let that run through. And like I said, here we're at 80%. Uh, we're almost finished. And we'll get our score. All right, we're up to 2160. Now, 2160 was a much better score. Of course, we, we put our core clock up quite a bit from where we left off uh, but we also went up with our uh, memory clock and you're going to basically want to do the same thing just keep adding a hundred um, until you get a diminishing return on your benchmark score now with your memory clock uh, you can keep most of the time uh, I can keep going past where I get a positive return um, so don't wait for it to artifact or look bad uh, I've, I seem to have diminishing returns before the card crashes. Um, but once you've had that, um, once you find that diminishing return, or if your card crashes, um, reset your system, uh, put your core clock back in, um, and drop your memory clock uh, by 20 until you your numbers are at a positive, and you're going to want to. Um, set that all in now for this card i know mine is 565 so i'm going to go ahead and set that in and lock it all in and once you get the, all of that done um, this is where i would do my longer test and uh, and for that i would use something like valley um, valley seems to be a very good one um, and you can run this beforehand uh, and that way when you get to the end you can check your score against what uh, what your your final numbers are but you can run um, valley and if you make it through that benchmark then most likely your uh, your overclock is going to be fairly stable now it's not going to be completely stable in every game I've never found an overclock that works with every game for me my Achilles heel has been um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, I can run this 180 core clock overclock um, for days. And then in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, every now and then it'll crash. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty stable in, in all of my other games. And most of the time, if, if I am running, playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider, um, I'll knock it down to a 150 core clock. Uh, my memory clock seems to stay the same, but my core clock changes a little bit. Um, now, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Um, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, like I said, leave me some comments, hit me a like, and I hope this helped you out. And uh, hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you later.